How to make more money without working more. Welcome to fornybox.com where you can learn how to master your money. Number one, take less desirable shifts. Some jobs offer financial incentives either for working overtime or for working undesirable shifts such as overnights or during weekends or holidays. Shift differentials are partially or particularly common in manufacturing, customer service, information technology, and healthcare. Sometimes you can earn time and a half, 1.5 times your base pay for signing up for these shifts. You'd be doing the same work as always, but earning something extra for your trouble. Conversely, if you're looking to work fewer hours in the future, some jobs will allow you to bank the overtime hours you put in. Ask your boss about these options. Number two, set up passive revenue streams. For those who have online content businesses, setting up a passive revenue stream is an excellent way to earn more without pulling and putting in endless work hours. A passive revenue stream will require some setup work, but then it has the potential to continue earning for you without continued maintenance. For example, you may have a blog that's gained a nice following. You can earn money on the blog by selling advertising or creating links for affiliate marketing, which can easily be set up with online retailers such as Amazon. And Pat Flynn is at the forefront of this movement. His model mostly involves creating websites with valuable content such as niche ebooks, podcasts, or online training courses. Now the key to earning money is generating traffic, which is why it's critical to select the right content niche using keyword research. And once you've created the content, you need to market it to your audience via social media or email lists. If you've got a popular YouTube channel, it can also generate a passive revenue stream. It usually takes a while to grow an audience and have your videos rank well, but if you turn on monetization, meaning you allow YouTube to show ads on your videos, you could start earning a nice side income from your most viewed videos. And one YouTuber named Graham Stephan has made millions of dollars just from YouTube ad revenue. And another YouTuber named Meet Kevin has made over $200,000 in one month from YouTube. Number three, get paid to do what you love. It doesn't feel like work if you love doing it, right? You might not even call it work. If you love to make jewelry, pottery, sew, knit, or do other kinds of crafts, you can sell your wares on websites such as eBay or Etsy or face-to-face -face at craft fairs. Gardeners can make money by opening a booth at a local farmer's market. A friend of mine who is an amazing photographer recently started selling calendars to friends and family with some of her most beautiful prints. She earns $20 of profit on every calendar that she sells, and she hasn't had to invest much extra time to get the calendars made. And she gets her customers through word-of-mouth referrals and social media. You may be pleasantly surprised how much reach you can have with social media marketing. The same is true if you have a particular skill that is in demand. You can start your own consulting business, either online or in person, and start charging clients to do what you love. Number four, earn money for the driving you already do. If you have a car and spend a lot of time commuting to work or school or driving around for other purposes, companies will pay you to use your car for advertising space. It might sound tacky at first, but chances are you can think of a good use for the extra $100 a month that you stand to earn without any extra cost to you. If you're earning a bit of extra cash by driving, you may not have to pick up that extra overtime shift or work through holidays. 
Opt for reliable companies such as Covertize and as always, be aware of potential scams. Now you can also do something like Uber or Lyft and just like add on like another, basically on the way from home or on the way from work, you could maybe just do like one pickup and basically drive around the same amount of time and make some extra side cash. Number five, rent your space. By now, Airbnb is a household name, but there are other short-term rental platforms too. You can use these platforms to earn a bit of extra cash if you have a spare room, a second home, or other type of property. Airbnb includes free rental insurance for hosts, and depending on where you live and how often you rent your property, you can earn $1,000 a month and up. If you love it, you might consider investing in a property just for renting out through Airbnb. If you get the right deal on the right property, you can earn a lot more than leasing the place out. But be sure to check your local laws. Some municipalities restrict short-term rentals because they tend to drive up rent for local residents. And number six, renegotiate your contract. If you're feeling in a rut with your job or you're ready to start a new contract, there are some unconventional work agreements that may help you to make more money. For instance, a friend of mine who works in marketing recently negotiated a new contract that allows her to work at the office about 20 hours a week. Outside of that, she's free to decide how much she wants to work and she can do it from home. She will receive a lower base salary per month than she did through her old full-time arrangement, but she will earn commissions on the sales that she makes. That makes it a good deal for both her employer and for her. If she works less, she will earn less, but she has the flexibility to decide. She also has the option to use some of her time outside the office to take up one of the other jobs listed above. Of course, you can also go the traditional route and ask for a raise if you've been in the same position for about a year and you have compelling evidence to support your request. Feel free to watch more. Feel free to check out 14bucks.com to learn how to master your money below. Go down below and you can follow a very simple and easy to follow along guide to mastering your money. And if you are wanting to learn how to make money online, feel free to go down below and you can learn how to make money online using just a phone or a computer. Pretty simple process. So if you want to learn how to do that as well, go down below and check that out. But either way, there's not really any need to overcomplicate how to make more money by working technically less. You just got to think a little bit smarter with how you work right? If you could generate other different streams of income while doing less, that's always a better option because you got to think about it. The one thing that we do not have more of is time. So the more time that you can save and the more money that you can make, the better off it's going to be. So it's typically always better to save your time and make more money at the same time, right? This is why you see a lot of super rich and wealthy individuals end up basically being like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to hire a whole bunch of people so that I can get my time back, so that I don't have to spend all my time working on my business or whatever 